creating a more enriching living experience. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 429. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our June 13th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is creating a more enriching living experience. And last week I talked about our social architecture model that really is, is designed to create more time to do the things that people want to do and more things to do with that time. It's a model designed to, to create more, a more fulfilled and enriched living experience. That said, and, and the whole one community model is designed to create an environment that really supports that. So I talk about it each week. We take the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, but we're coupling those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and true or stewardship. We put all those together to create a new way of living that will be better than the way that most people are living right now. And then our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own. And so we're open sourcing and free sharing all of these different things so that that addresses the easy enough and affordable enough aspect of it. And the fulfilled living model, the highest good education model, and the true stewardship model, those are put together to, along with you know, the sustainable housing and the higher quality of food and the environment, the complete environment, to, to demonstrate the more attractive aspect to create a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And when we come down to creating a more enriching living experience, that specific idea is founded on the six human needs, the primary six human needs. And those are certainty, variety, significance, connection, growth, and contribution. And so last week I was talking mostly about like the growth aspect uh, you could say, and maybe the variety aspect of it. When I talk about, you know, more things to do and more time to do the things that people want to do and access to more of the toys and the, you know, things that people consider to be, you know, helpful contributions to living a more luxurious lifestyle. You know, like you don't have to be a millionaire if you have all the things that a millionaire would have access to. If you have access to all the tools and the toys and things that you want, do you have to actually own them? Not if you always have access to them and can get them whenever you want then you don't need to. And so the idea with one community is to create that, is to create that luxurious lifestyle, that maximum living experience, but not just based on stuff. It's about the deeper needs as well. You know, so there's that certainty value, which is the idea of, you know, being confident that your needs are going to be met, that everything is available to you, that you're never stressing about, you know, the next day's paycheck or, you know, where you're going to get food. There's that idea of variety, though. Along with certainty, you also want a lot of variety in your life. So there's a big diversity of different things to do. And we talk a lot about that. That's that fulfilled living. One of the aspects of that fulfilled living aspect is a huge variety of things to have access to, as diverse as the people creating it, because it's built into the very fabric of what it is that we're creating. In addition to that, you have the significance. It's knowing that your life has meaning, that you're important. And I feel like this is really important, especially as people grow older, is knowing that you have value to your community, that you have a place and a purpose within that environment, you know, that what you're contributing means something. And then there's connection. You know, it's knowing that you're connected to people and surrounded by people that care about you and love you and that you're, you know, feeling like you're you have a connection with people within your community. And this is a big part that a lot of people are losing right now is they're not really connected to their communities. And a lot of that is because there's such different values and different goals and people just have their own lives to live. And so a lot of people don't even know their neighbors, you know, but in a one community model, the idea is to bring together people with common values and common goals, working together to create something amazing. And then that brings us to our next one, which is growth. You know, the value of growth of constantly being able to grow and improve ourselves. 
you know, and having access to people that know more than we do about a whole bunch of different things and being able to participate with them and learn from those people about maybe it's gardening or maybe it's cooking or maybe it's construction or maybe it's painting or maybe it's, you know, technology, how to do video editing and photo editing or website design, you know, and so within the one community model, all of those aspects are a part of our creative and growth process as an organization with opportunities for everybody within that environment to participate and learn those things if they want to, you know, helping to manage the whole process as it continues to move forward and to grow and expand. And then the last value is contribution. And in the case of one community, you know, our goal is all our, one of our, find, our foundational values is contribution and giving back to the world and collaborating and cooperating, and working together to create a model that can transform this planet within our lifetime to a sustainable one. And so, but the whole model is designed with contribution as a foundation, like it's a collaborative, cooperative model in and of itself. That is a big foundation of making it work. And in so doing, people are contributing to something bigger than themselves, their community, their environment. And that's true even for people that might not be interested in creating a teacher demonstration hub. You know, maybe people are just interested in running a community-based home education program or building, you know, developing a community-based garden or building a home you know, themselves with their own hands using our, our DIY open source plans and things like that. So all of these different things are opportunities for people to come together and to contribute to something greater than themselves and to share that. And with us, we're sharing that with the world. So our idea for creating more enriching living experience is to meet those six human needs, certainty, variety, significance, connection, growth, and contribution, and to provide an environment, a complete environment that supports that. And this is why we think that most people consider what we're creating to be a better way of living the way they are right now and how it becomes, how that is a pathway to this model becoming self-replicating. And if it becomes self-replicating, if one community can inspire two more communities to start the next year, even if they're just 50 people or less, but if they're averaging 50 people and those three communities together can inspire, you know, four more the year after that. And after that, eight more and 16 more and 32 and 64. Well, if you did that, you would encompass the entire human population within 30 years. But it doesn't have to be everyone. We're just looking to reach that tipping point where we can positively and permanently impact all life on this planet and we can achieve global sustainability. And that's what our self-replicating model is designed to do. And that's why not everybody needs to participate. For people who disagree that it's not a better way of living than the way they're living right now, great. Keep doing what you're doing or use something that we have to maybe improve your life in some way, shape, or form, or try to provide something for everybody. For those people that are looking for something really different, and they like to come and visit and experience it and see if it's really for them first, that's what one community is, is being designed to be, a place that people can visit, experience, and see everything that they see is open source and free shared, and designed so that it can be replicated by them in whatever way that they want to help improve the lives of anybody that interacts with us. And for those that really want to take it to the next level, to become a part of world change with us, building your own teacher demonstration hub or joining ours as we work to create a global cooperative, a global collaborative for the highest good of all life on this planet and create within our lifetime, our lifetime, a sustainable planet that will benefit us, our children, our grandchildren and generations to come. This is what One Community is up to. This is how we're doing it. Visit our website for specifics. Visit our blog, our weekly progress update blog with the same number as this update if you want to see exactly what our all-volunteer nonprofit team, including myself, I'm a volunteer as well, has done in the last week moving this project forward. And uh, if you'd like to see specifics and details on each one of the major components, like bullet point details on each of the components, stick around for a couple more minutes, visit our website for complete details. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is 
duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to High's Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.